The bases came in at 184 and a quarter pounds, while Kirk was two pounds under the middleweight limit. Here with the official introductions, Mark Lichtenfeld. All right, Fight Fanatics, we're ready for our next bout of the evening. Three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. This bout is brought to you by Never Back Down the Movie in theaters March 14th. Your referee for this fight is Troy Wall. Introducing to you first fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet even, weighed in at 184 and one quarter pounds. This Spartan jiu-jitsu specialist has a perfect professional record of four wins, no losses, with two wins coming by knockout. Fighting out of Tampa, Florida, please welcome Yosmani Cabezas. And across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, standing six feet, one inches tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. This freestyle fighter has an excellent professional record of 10 wins, two losses, with four wins by knockout and six wins by submission. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, please welcome John El Jaguar Kerr. all know the rules. I want a good, clean fight. Go back to your corner. Get ready to go. John L. Jaguar Kirk, Yosemite Spartan Cabeza set to begin things here in the middleweight division. We have seen that man Kirk before on an undercard of Elite XC Renegade. Cabezas making his Elite XC debut. Kirk dislocated his shoulder just a week and a half before his last fight in Elite XC, so looking to rebound off that loss here tonight. Judge, are you ready? Judge, are you ready? Judge, are you ready? Fighter, are you ready? Fighter, are you ready? Fight! The two touch gloves to begin things. The Cabezas right away. Stocks Kirk, lands an overhand right. Kirk goes for the Greco Roman clinch. Cabezas breaks free, and Cabezas wasting little time. Kirk now coming back as well. No feeling up. Steven. None. Cabezas gets it to the floor. He's a little bit jacked up. He's trying to get an early stoppage here. He's got to be careful because he couldn't walk into a punch. He just did early on. Sammy outside control following that takedown and now looking to us. Looking for the ankle. Heel hook. The heel hook here. I go the fence. Because Cabezas is a fighter who in November recorded a 10 second TKO in the first round. So this is a guy who likes to get to work very quickly. We are seeing evidence of that in this one. Kirk now working from the half guard of Cabezas. Oh boy, the fireworks coming early in this middleweight affair. Punches, reversals, heel hook attempt. Kirk on top now. John Kirk is going to probably want to use the, uh, the cross face, put his arm in front, get the head down. I think that's the most action-packed 60 seconds we've seen thus far tonight on ProLeague.com, Sam. Let go the fence. That's what I sort of expect from the opener tonight between James Thompson and Brett Rogers. We've seen two heel hook attempts from the bottom from Cabezas. Let's go, let's go. Start working that body, start working that body. Let's go down, start working. Is that right? There it is, there it is. It's all right, it's all right. Right there in the face, right there. You got it, go work, work. Kirk, side mount position now. He's going to start jackhammering that left hand. So Kirk now trying to take advantage of the guard pass, but Cabez is a very active guard, busy scrambling from the bottom. He's a down fighter. Man could set himself up from a down fighter. No knee strikes allowed, but that would have been a, a nice place to tee off. And this thing is just back and forth. These guys are the Energizer Bunny Square. We have two fighters here who both look at four lead. And these are two fighters that really embody what modern mixed martial arts are for. Stephen, you mentioned it. Heel hook attempts, arm bars from the bottom. The They're fingers. willing to take fingers. risks. And this is what gets them the rewards of appearing on an Elite XC card. They're comfortable both on the ground and on their feet. This is very good matchmaking. Midway through round one, Cabeza still looking for the ankle. Looking for the heel hook. He doesn't have it. Kirk comes back with the left hand. I gotta tell you, Kirk's got great defense against Lang. Now the full mount by Kirk. And, and that's 
that's a good mount because he's got his ankles tucked in tight. It's going to be hard to buck this mount for Yosmani, who's on the floor now. Looking to escape from the back door is Cabezas. And look at that. He escaped from back control. And now Kirk is on. Oh, Kirk is almost mounted. Can they sustain this pace, Sam? There are a couple of middleweights at 185. If they were heavyweights, I would say there's no chance with both these guys. Looking for the Americanas, Cabezas. It's just nonstop with these guys. Look at the rollover. Unbelievable. Um, these two are definitely looking to run their ticket to a showtime in the very near future. Is there such a thing as undercard fight of the year? We are in the midst of seeing one right here going That's for right. the side choke as well. A minute 15 left, and this has been nothing but sustained action from the get-go. Triangle choke, Yosmani on the floor. This may be tough to get out of. Kirk has got to be very careful. He's got to step over the front with his right leg and try and get some. Oh no, this is this is not going to he's not going to make it out of this. The basis. He's got his arm on the side though. He's on the triangle choke. Is Kirk going escape with less than a minute remaining. He's got his arm over to the side. Enough to where it's not jamming his neck. He ne now the arm is in the right position. John Kirk doing a tremendous job of trying to escape. Will he, will he be able to? I mean, this guy's got a lot of resiliency, a lot of fight. Man. Kirk's going to escape this. Yeah, the hold is starting to loosen. It is. It really is. And Kirk's he's, he's, he's crossing up now. It was a great escape for John Kirk. Right on the verge of being triangle choked. Nice elbow, but he's got him. Oh, and he's busted open. Kirk, another elbow. And Troy Rob, the point of the elbow is illegal. Yeah, downward elbow. here we expect more great action on showtime later tonight let's go back to bill goldberg standing by with a very special guest see you later all right thanks a lot bill as we return to action here round two steven sam how did that wall a head kick by cabezas to kick off round two i'm wondering how the point deduction impacted the scoring in round one well neither of these fighters are showing any desire to quit here so, you know, Kirk has to get that first round with the point deduction, so it's a huge advantage in this kind of fight. It really is. We have another takedown here by Yosmani. Yosmani blasting away. His cardio is through the roof. I'm really impressed at his aggression, his sustainable aggression. He may be on the verge of finishing this fight. Continues to tattoo Kirk with his fists, landing the left and right bombs. Kirk finally pushes him away, trying to defend death. And now giving up his back. He's got him here. He's got him. Cabezas taps him out with the rear naked choke. That may have been the best six minutes of action we have seen in a long, long time here at Elite XC as Yasmani Spartan Cabezas puts the finishing touches on John Kirk with a Mata Leon. An amazing finish to an amazing fight by two warriors, both who, which gained from this fight. We saw so much action, so much technique, so much, these guys, I mean, these guys really wanted this fight. And Cabezas has really stepped up here. John Kirk is a much more experienced mixed martial artist, but Cabezas did not allow that to be a factor. And as a middleweight, this is a guy who fits into a, possibly fits into a very deep middleweight landscape here in Elite XC. How much did the illegal elbow strikes hurt John Kirk in this fight? Uh, I think they hurt him, but I think that triangle choke hurt as well because it wasn't going to finish him, but it was squeezing him and squeezing some of the energy out of him. And he was being dominated by the pure energy of that man there, yours, Manny Cabezos. A tremendous win for the youngster, 24 years of age, Joe's Manny Spartan Cabezas improves to 5-0. and oh. And what more can be said about John L. Jaguar, Kirk, Sam, obviously, as we mentioned, no real losers in this one. This is his second loss in Elite XC, but he, I think he showed enough heart, enough determination, and enough skill to warrant another look at some point. I completely agree, and as Morrow said earlier, we've discussed this for the last couple days, 
the Elite XC middleweight division is so deep right now, and it just got deeper. Okay, here we have the uh, illegal elbow. And Yo's man, he's right there it's to the side of the head, and he's trying to time it again. And he goes to the side of the head twice, but right about there, that's right on the crown of the head. That is a no-no. The referee was right there, perfect vantage point. And here we have the end. We've got the trip takedown. Look at this hustle, an unbelievable trip takedown there by Yo's Manny, and he's just gonna finish things. And pretty much all of these strikes find their mark. This guy is an animal. He just unloaded. He knew he could finish it then and there, and he went for broke. And he really established himself here in Elite XC. We're going to see a lot more from this guy, from this Cuban, uh, he now lives in the United States, an unbelievable athlete, great judo guy, and a great puncher as well. Gets back control now. And he, he got that sunk in. And he actually, he didn't really need to get that hook in. But he gets the right hook in, pulls over, rear naked choke. John Kirk taps out. John had had enough. Here's the official decision with Mark Lichtenfeld. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest comes to a halt at 58 seconds of the second round due to a tap out caused by a rear naked choke. Your winner and still undefeated, Yosmani Cabeza. All right, I'm here with your winner, Yosmani Cabezas. Yosmani, resilience seems to be the key word here in Miami, Florida today. Another tough win for another fighter, another tough opponent. You had him in a triangle choke early that seemed to tire him out into the second round. Be beautiful leg trip down, took him and peppered him until he turned over and a rear naked choke. How tough was that fight? Man, this guy is unbelievable. He's fucking strong and I saw this fight was gonna be over in the first round. When I saw it coming to the second round, my mind was like, he's in the second round, I have more energy, more endurance, and I wanna win this fight, this is for me. Well, let's actually take a look at the end of this fight, right here. Take us through it. Well, I was, I was just trying to punch him as soon as hard Ground I can. Pound. Get out and pound for him, and when he gave me the neck, I said, I got the real naked choke, I'm gonna hold here until he taps, I don't care how long it takes. Take what you get. Well, it was a fantastic victory, and even though you're from Tampa, I'm sure this Miami crowd feels like you're a hometown hero. Yosmani Cabezas. A tremendous middleweight matchup sees Yosmani Cabezas end it with a submission victory over John Kirk. Great action here on ProElite.com.